In the 19th century industrial upheaval, one name resounded, John D. Rockefeller. From humble beginnings to the world's first billionaire, his journey embodies wealth, power, and contradiction. Yet beyond the success lies complexity, ambition intertwined with philanthropy. His life transcends biography, shaping an era and history's course. Join us as we uncover Rockefeller's enigmatic legacy, exploring his character and enduring impact on the modern world. Early Beginnings In the tranquil setting of Richford, New York, a young John D. Rockefeller entered the world on July 8, 1939, unaware of the extraordinary journey that lay ahead. But within the walls of his modest family home, a tale of contrasts unfolded. Family Dynamics his father, William Avery Rockefeller, a man of many guises, cast a shadow of uncertainty over young John's upbringing. With a knack for adventure and a penchant for risk, William's elusive nature painted a picture of unpredictability. Yet amidst the uncertainty, John gleaned valuable lessons in resilience and self-reliance, laying the foundation for the tenacity that would define his future endeavors. In stark contrast stood John's mother, Eliza Davidson Rockefeller, a beacon of stability and moral fortitude. Her unwavering commitment to principles of hard work, thrift, and community instilled in John a sense of discipline and integrity that would guide him through life's trials and tribulations. Within the dichotomy of his parents' personas, John found himself at the crossroads of conflicting influences, a testament to the complexities of human nature. Yet, it was from this crucible of contrasting values that John forged his identity, drawing strength from the lessons of his upbringing to navigate the tumultuous waters of his future endeavors. Personal Life and Values John D. Rockefeller's personal life was deeply influenced by his strong beliefs and close relationships. Despite his rapid ascent to wealth, his marriage to Laura Celestia Spellman provided him with comfort and stability, grounded in mutual respect and shared values. Raised with a strong Baptist faith by his mother, Rockefeller's religious convictions guided his actions, including his business decisions and philanthropy. Rockefeller's upbringing instilled in him the importance of hard work, discipline, and frugality. Despite his immense success, he maintained a modest lifestyle, finding joy in simplicity rather than extravagance. Family remained a priority, and Rockefeller made time for his wife and five children, instilling in them the same values of integrity and compassion. In his leisure time, Rockefeller indulged in activities like golfing and horse-drawn carriage rides, finding solace in the everyday. Despite his public persona, he had a playful side, often brightening strangers' days with small gestures of kindness. Ultimately, during his busy professional life, Rockefeller found fulfillment in his personal values and relationships. Business Ventures Rockefeller's journey into the world of business began humbly in the bustling streets of Cleveland, Ohio. At the tender age of 16, armed with nothing but determination and a keen eye for opportunity, he embarked on his first entrepreneurial venture in a produce commission business. Despite his youth, Rockefeller displayed a remarkable acumen for commerce, quickly establishing himself as a shrewd negotiator and astute businessman. It was during this formative period that Rockefeller's entrepreneurial spirit truly began to shine. Sensing the mushrooming potential of the oil industry amidst the Pennsylvania oil boom, he pivoted his focus toward this lucrative market. Formation of Standard Oil Company in 1963, at just 24 years old, Rockefeller took a decisive step forward, partnering with chemist Samuel Andrews to establish an oil refinery in Cleveland. This bold move marked the genesis of what would eventually become the legendary Standard Oil Company. Strategic Vision As Rockefeller's Standard Oil Company continued to grow, his strategic vision and innovative approach to business propelled it to unparalleled heights of success. Recognizing that true profit lay not in drilling for oil, but in refining it, Rockefeller focused his efforts on building a vertically integrated empire that controlled every aspect of the oil business. Industry Dominance His foresight extended beyond the immediate scope of refining, as he foresaw the importance of a well-oiled supply chain. By investing heavily in the latest technologies to increase efficiency and reduce costs, Rockefeller was able to undercut competitors' prices and solidify Standard Oil's position as a dominant force in the industry. 
Rockefeller's success wasn't solely attributed to his savvy business tactics. His mastery extended to the negotiation table. Here, he struck cunning deals with railroads, ensuring that Standard Oil's products traversed the country at unbeatable rates, leaving his rivals struggling to keep pace. In the late 19th century, amidst the rapid pace of industrialization, Rockefeller's strategic vision reshaped the American economy, laying the groundwork for the modern corporate landscape. His pioneering efforts in business organization and efficiency set new standards for corporate governance, leaving an indelible mark on the course of American history. End of Monopoly of Standard Oil Rockefeller's peak in business was marked by problems and legal fights, ending in a major court case that broke up Standard Oil. The creation of the Standard Oil Trust in 1882 was a big moment in Rockefeller's career. By bringing together control of many oil companies under one group, Rockefeller gained a lot of power in the industry. But as more and more people complained and legal problems grew, the trust was broken up. The 1911 Supreme Court decision was a turning point, ordering the breakup of Standard Oil. This ruling reflected changing views on monopolies, leading to future laws aimed at preventing excessive corporate power and promoting fair competition. Even though things didn't go well in business, Rockefeller's efforts to help others continued to grow. He shifted his attention to sharing his wealth for good causes, like starting the Rockefeller Foundation and giving a lot of money to help education and medical research. Philanthropy Endeavors of Rockefeller As John D. Rockefeller grew older, he shifted his focus from making money to helping others. His legacy is one of kindness and making a positive impact on society that still influences us today. Despite people not always agreeing with how he made his money, Rockefeller believed strongly in helping those less fortunate. He thought giving back was important because he had so much. One big thing Rockefeller did was start the Rockefeller Foundation in 1913. It wasn't just any charity, it was special because it changed the way people helped others. With $100 million to start, the Rockefeller Foundation wanted to make life better for everyone, everywhere. The Rockefeller Foundation believed in using science and research to fix big problems. Instead of just handing out money, they wanted to find out what caused problems and fix them for good. They funded important research in health, farming, schools, and the arts. This helped create new ideas and ways of doing things that made life better for lots of people. One of their big achievements was helping to make a vaccine for yellow fever. Before, yellow fever was a very serious disease that hurt a lot of people. But because of the work funded by the Rockefeller Foundation, scientists made a shot that stopped the sickness. This saved many lives and made the world a safer place. In addition to its work in public health, the Rockefeller Foundation also made significant contributions to education and scientific research. Rockefeller believed that education was the key to social progress and economic opportunity, and he generously supported institutions such as the University of Chicago and the Rockefeller University. These institutions became leading centers for research and innovation, attracting some of the brightest minds in their respective fields. The Rockefeller Foundation didn't just help in America, they also gave money to help people all over the world. They did things like fighting sickness, helping poor countries grow more food, and making more discoveries in science. They thought everyone deserved to live a good life, no matter where they lived. Rockefeller's Legacy John D. Rockefeller's legacy is a story woven from his groundbreaking ideas in business and his generosity. His remarkable achievements as a business leader, seen through the success of Standard Oil, changed how business was done in America. But what truly defines him is his big-hearted giving. Rockefeller's life makes us think about big questions like what it means to have a lot of money and power, and what we owe to others. His story reminds us to think about how our choices affect others, and how we can use what we have to make the world better. Rockefeller's legacy shows us how to be kind and generous, and how to make the world a better place. His story tells us that true greatness comes from helping others, not just from being rich or powerful. Impact on the Modern World Rockefeller's influence echoes through history, shaping today's world profoundly. His pioneering business methods, particularly through Standard Oil, revolutionized corporate structures, setting new efficiency standards. Additionally, his philanthropic efforts, like the Rockefeller Foundation, drove global education and healthcare initiatives, leaving a lasting impact. Despite complexities, Rockefeller's legacy remains undeniable, with his innovations and charity work shaping the modern era. 
As we navigate the complexities of the 21st century, Rockefeller's legacy reminds us of the lasting power of vision and philanthropy to bring positive change to our ever-evolving world. Well, if you're up for a secret, then let me introduce you to a giant conglomerate that, much like Rockefeller, holds control over the world. This is a story you won't want to miss. Join me in the next video by clicking on the thumbnail. See you there.